Good day, fellow. Seto is back. Today, my fellow, I just want to show you on how to complete the square. On how to complete the square. See? Then now, by now I suppose you already know that the standard form of the quadratic is given by y is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. We have a standard form here. Standard form of the quadratic c. And again, we also have what? The vertex form. The vertex form which is given by y is equal to a x plus p close bracket squared then we have q see the turning point format see then now when completing the square we are going to move from the standard form to the vertex form let me show you how suppose if i were to give you 2x squared plus 6x plus let's say 10. See? Then I ask you a question to say complete the square for this given. How are you how are you going to complete the square for this one? Firstly, you must know that when completing the square, the coefficient of x squared, which is a in this case, or which is 2 in this case. You must make sure that it's 1. Then in order for us to make the coefficient of x squared to be 1, we have to factor out this 2. Then we are going to get, when we take out 2, we're going to get 1x squared plus this one 3 in order to get 6. We need 3x in order to get 10, we must put 5. You see? Then now, immediately after doing this, we are going to take the middle term, which is 3. We are going to take plus 3 or positive 3, then multiply that middle term with 1 over 2, then we square. You take your calculator, you do like this, 3 multiply by 1 over 2, then you square, we get 9 over 4, 9 over 4, you see, immediately after getting that 9 over 4, we are then going to say 1x squared plus 3x, Next to the third term, we are going to write 9 over 4, then subtract again 9 over 4, sorry, plus 5. Why do we minus, or why do we subtract this 9 over 4? We subtract this 9 over 4 in order for us to retain that expression over there, you see? In a way, we haven't done anything. Because 9 over 4 minus 9 over 4 is 0. You see? Then let's continue now. We are going to factorize this trinomial from 1 up until here. This trinomial, we are going to factorize it. When you factorize, we are going to get... 3 over 2, close bracket, x plus 3 over 2, then we close it. Then, we need a calculator for this one. Say negative 9 over 4. Then we have plus 5. We get 11 plus 11 over 4. Then let us close the bracket. Do you still remember that 
from the exponent if let's say we had a multiplied by a we had some base then somehow there we have exponents of one see exponent for the same base if we multiply the same base what are we going to do with our exponent we must add them see same applies we have two binomials which are exactly the same we are going to use the very same principle which we used there by saying now x plus 3 since we have the same binomial let us put the square over there then plus 11 over 4 then we close the bracket you see close the bracket then we are almost close to the answer let us multiply throughout by these two then we are going to get 2 x plus 3 over 2 we close plus if we multiply this one with this one we must get 11 over 2 you see at this point we have managed to move from the standard form to the vertex form you see it's so simple let me give you another example let's say now i decide to give you this one let us change see let's say if now i give you let's say 3x squared minus 6 x let's say we have minus 9 we apply the same principle we must make our x the coefficient of x squared to be 1 then let us take out let us take out the coefficient which is 3 in this case then we are going to have 1 x squared minus we need 2 in order to get 6 when we multiply 3 by 2 we get 6 x minus 3 we close then at this point we can then do what we can then take the middle term which is negative 2 then multiply it with 1 over 2 then we square see take your calculator in order to avoid mistakes over 2 you square get 1 1 see then we are going to say we have minus 2x we write plus we start with plus 1 then subtract 1 minus 3 then we close let us continue now by factorizing this trinomial see this trinomial we are going to get let me write square bracket we are going to get x minus 1 x minus 1 then minus 1 minus 3 is so simple this one we get minus 4 don't forget again we have the same binomial see each have the coefficient sorry the exponent of 1 then what we do we add for the same base don't forget for the same base we add the exponents this is what we're gonna get then we have minus 4 close y then factor sorry then multiply throughout by 3 then we're gonna get 3 x minus 1 close squared minus let's check 
3 times 4 will not get 12 then we write 12 you see just like this i thank you my feel and enjoy your day